Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In the last video, we created a curtain panel family and we imported that into Revit. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can add options here. So if you go here, you see that, for instance, under system panel, we have two options, but they are under the same type, right? So let's assume we have a different family. This is the family that we created in the last video. Let's say we have this family. I'm going to load it into project, into the Revit file. And now if I like hit tab here and go here, I can of course go with modular panel two, which is different than one. But here's the thing in the menu, you see that this panel and this panel are under two different uh, types. Right? Because each of them is a different Revit family. This is modular panel 2. This one is just modular panel. So when you import it into Revit, it's going to be two different types here. Right? So if I want to go like this and have both of them as options under one type, I need to do something differently and those two need to be in one file. So I'm going to go back here. Let's assume we didn't import that file. And I want to close this other family that I created. Now, in this family that we had, in this one, we're going to create a second option, right? So how do we do this? Uh, if I go to the family types, this is going to be our existing option, right? So uh, what we didn't do before was that we didn't assign any type name. So if I assign a type name and then create another one uh, and assign a different type name, those two are going to be options in the Revit menu. So I'm going to create a new type. I'm going to name it, let's say, option one, for instance. OK. And OK. Then I want to select this extrusion. I would be more comfortable in a 2D view. So the extrusion is selected. We want to copy and paste it exactly where it is and then make changes. OK, so we are on the same file, uh, but we have two uh, geometries, which are options. So I want to go to copy, copy to clipboard or control C. And under the drop down menu of paste, you see that we have a line to the same place. That's what we're going to use. So align to same place. Now it's in the same place, right? Now, if I go to family types, uh, that one was for option one. I want to create a new type and I want to name it as option two. OK and OK, right? So uh, if I select this now, this is the second extrusion and we want to adjust it. So I want to go to Edit Extrusion and I want to actually um, pick maybe uh, this line or draw a line from here and I want to draw a different shape here. Let's say uh, maybe I want to offset this line by 20 millimeters on both sides here and here. And I want to use Trim this is going to be trimmed here. This is going to be trimmed, trimmed. And this line is going to be offset. So I'm going to pick this line offset, let's say by 40. It's going to go here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And I need to draw a line here or pick one line here and trim the last one as well. So this is my second option. Uh, let's go with finish edit mode. This seems good. And next, I want to assign different visibilities here. So this is our first option, which was a simple U shape. If I go to visibility and click on this associate family parameter, I want to create a new parameter. Maybe I can name it as option one. Option one. Let's go with a small O. So it's different with the other options. So I can show you how it works. OK and OK. And the other one here, 
I want to also go to visibility and define a new parameter as option 2. And I'm going to leave it as type, OK and OK. If I go to type, family types here, uh, you see the parameters are added here. In option 2, we only want to see option 2. And in the drop down menu, we can switch to option 1 when we only going to see option 1. You can have as many as you want, right? So they are going to be on top of each other on the same place, but the visibility is different. Now, if I load this into project, uh, I want to go with overwrite existing. Now, if I hit tab here uh, and go to modular panel, you see option 1 and option 2 are here. You see this is capital O. The capital O, where did I use it? I used it where I was defining the type name here with capital O. But the parameter itself is with lowercase. Just wanted to show you that this name, option 1 with capital O, is different than this one. Now let me go back here. You see that I can hit tab and uh, option 1 and option 2, I can select them. Uh, of course, I need to adjust uh, the height and everything. I'll show you how. Uh, but each time, if I go to, let's say, option 1, if I go to edit type, you see we have the two parameters here that we had for depth and thickness. Um, if I go to option 2, I need to check. Yeah, we have them here too. So I can go with, let's say, 0.4 here. Okay, and uh, the reason it's going above is that I need to lock that one too. So how about I go to reference level here, go to exterior, maybe select this exterior. And I want to move this a little bit down and move it back up and I want to lock it. So the second geometry is also locked to the level reference plane. Now I want to load it into project. We're going to override it. Yes. Now you see it's all correct uh, and both options are here. Uh, I can switch between the two by going uh, from option one to option two. Uh, so where did the two parameters with the uh, small o go? Here, if I go here, you see option one and option two with a small o. Uh, if I go to the file, select this, it was a type parameter, right? So if I go to edit type, scroll all the way down, you actually see that uh, it's added to the edit type because it was under type parameter. So if you change your mind, you can also um, check the boxes here. So if both are checked, both options will show. If only one is checked, uh, only one will show and the other way around. So uh, as any other parameter, as the uh, depth and thickness parameters that we created as types, not instance, uh, it also goes to the uh, type properties. Uh, finally, we need to check if all our parameters work correctly. So if I select this one, for instance, go to the type, you see if I change this to, to uh, like 0.5, Let's say uh, it works correctly. If I change this to like 0 0.08, 8 centimeters, it also works fine, right? And let's say for this one, which is option two, uh, if I go to edit type, if I assign, let's say 0 0.5, uh, it works nice. If I assign 0 0.08, uh, you see that here and here it works well, but in the middle and here and here the thickness is not following so I need to go back to my file uh, and I'm gonna use HH to hide this element now this other one uh, I want to make sure that uh, this is also correct so how about I get some dimensions I wanna go with the reference plane RP and uh, I wanna let's say offset it by some number here let's say 50 for instance, I'm going to draw it here, right? And I want to get this dimension, di, from here to here, lock this, so the reference plane is locked um, actually to the other reference plane, 
and now I want to select this and you remember we can assign one parameter to multiple items so panel thickness goes here too and this line here in the extrusion I want to move this back and then here so we can lock it to the new reference plane load into project overwrite existing now you see this side works well right so you got the idea I'm gonna uh, do it for the other side uh, so let's go to reference level here I'm gonna grab this move this and back here so I can lock it so that should work too and this one in the middle so let's see if I load it into project now that side is also working well I can uh, double check actually let's select this edit type let's assign some big number let's say 0.12 actually this side and this side is not uh, working yet so let's get back to reference level grab this move this somewhere else remove constraint move it back to the reference plane and I want to lock it and uh, I want to yeah that reference plane uh, we have assigned the same depth so that's good also here for the middle I want to go with DI from here to here to here I want to go with equal so this is on the uh, two sides uh, exactly it's going to be symmetric and then I want to go with another DI from here to here and that this parameter should also be locked to panel thickness okay so actually I can try it right here if I assign a different number to 40 if I go with 80 all the thicknesses should change constraints are not satisfied remove constraint now all those are good except for this one let's see what's the problem uh, this I have assigned oh okay I have not assigned uh, actually a parameter here so I want to go with DI here from here to here I want to lock it and like the other ones I want to assign 80 or the thickness here as well so now if I get the depth if I change it to 40 all the thicknesses should change apply OK uh, I want to reset this uh, so the other one was already OK I want to load this into project overwrite existing and select this uh, if I go to like edit type if I change it to 0 0.08 this working point uh, 12 let's say uh, back to point zero eight okay it's all working uh, nice and correctly uh, so that's how you create options and the option is going to show like this not as separate families uh, in the next videos we're going to talk about uh, other parameters as well